So control video is here and this is available to use right now. So first of all, we're gonna look at the research paper. How does it work? And then we will go to the hugging face to use it. And after that, we will look at the source code if you guys want to install it on your local computer. So first of all, let's look at the research paper. So this is the research paper that was published on May 22. Uh, so this is not a too old research and this is not too recent research. Control video are training free controllable text to video generation. So this is the abstract. So if I break it down in a short, the concept behind control video is to overcome the limitations of training cost and inconsistency and the flickering that we have seen in the text to video generations. And it achieves that level using three different modules. So first of all, it ensures the coherence between the frames. And secondly, it works to avoid the flickering effect to make the videos more smoother. And finally, to produce long videos efficiently, it uses hierarchical sampler. So this was a short and easy explanation for the non-technical persons like me. So we're gonna look at the hugging face uh, where we can use it right now. So this is the hugging face space for the control video. So first of all, we have to give it an input video. So let's say I'm gonna select this video. So this is a simple animated video. So if we look at the settings, uh, right now we can only generate maximum 24 frames per second, which is decent amount of frames, I would say. And we can also play around with the different settings like depth, canny and pose. So these are different models. So I'm gonna select the depth model, which is a by default model. And you can also play around with the different seed values. So let's give it a prompt. Uh, anime character thinking. Right now there is not too much traffic, but still it does take some time to generation. So by the time it's generating our video, let's take a look on its source code. So this is the code that they have provided and they have also instructed how to install it and how to implement uh, on your computer. So we're going to look at the visuals and some examples from their different models. So these are some good and smooth videos actually. Uh, so they use different objects like just to showcase how does it perform with different kind of scenarios. So it did a really good job here. And if we look at the second model like Kenny ads. So we'll look at these videos. These are some really smooth videos. We I can't find any kind of flickering in that. Uh, so if we look at this video, this is a really smooth looking video. If we look at the smoke behind that, and if we look at the track, it automatically sends the whole scene and edit tire marks on uh, that track. Surprisingly, we can find any kind of flickering in that that we that we often experience in uh, control neck videos or in the stable diffusion videos. And look at the motion and movement. It specifically works good on the motion. So these are other videos uh, that are based on human poses and Look at the James Bond moonwalk and these are some smooth videos and look at this Hulk video, really good video. So let's get back to the hugging face. So this is the result that I generated. Well, there is not too much motion in that uh, as we seen in the, our input video. So this is the demo video from control video and I just changed the prompt. So these are some pretty decent results. Uh, look at the hand movements and look at the body motion. Overall, it looks good. Well, there is some kind of flickering in the video, but I think this is acceptable. So this is the second example uh, where someone is riding bike wearing the bicycle helmet. And I give it a prompt, man riding bike in anime style. And this is the output. So the output video is really good actually. Uh, look at the background blur. It didn't only blur the background, but also added the motion in that background. And even though the input video is not good, actually, you can see the uh, there is not enough lighting in the video, but still it's able to generate these kind of awesome results. And overall, this is a very efficient and consistent model. And if you guys want to install it on your local computer, it doesn't require any kind of high-end GPU. You can easily run it on NVIDIA 2080 Ti. So if you want to use it for free uh, without any GPU, so you can easily use this in the hugging phase. So that was a quick go through to the control video. And if you guys like these kind of stuff, so make sure to subscribe to the Planet AI and I'll see you guys in the next one.